Latent semantic analysis is a technique in natural language processing, in particular in vectorial semantics, of analyzing relationships between a set of documents and the terms they contain by producing a set of concepts related to the documents and terms. LSA assumes that words that are close in meaning will occur in similar pieces of text. A matrix containing word counts per paragraph is constructed from a large piece of text and a mathematical technique called singular value decomposition is used to reduce the number of rows while preserving the similarity structure among columns. Words are then compared by taking the cosine of the angle between the two vectors formed by any two rows. Values close to 1 represent very similar words while values close to 0 represent very dissimilar words. An information retrieval method using latent semantic structure was patented in 1988 by Scott Derrister, Susan Dumay, George Fenners, Richard Harshman, Thomas Landor, Karen Lodgebaum and Lynn Streeter. In the context of its application to information retrieval, it is sometimes called latent semantic indexing. Overview equals occurrence matrix equals LSA can use a term document matrix which describes the occurrences of terms in documents. It is a sparse matrix whose rows correspond to terms and whose columns correspond to documents. A typical example of the weighting of the elements of the matrix is TFIDF. The weight of an element of the matrix is proportional to the number of times the terms appear in each document, where rare terms are upweighted to reflect their relative importance. This matrix is also common to standard semantic models, though it is not necessarily explicitly expressed as a matrix, since the mathematical properties of matrices are not always used. Equals rank lowering equals, after the construction of the occurrence matrix, LSA finds a low rank approximation to the term document matrix. There could be various reasons for these approximations. The original term document matrix is presumed too large for the computing resources. In this case, the approximated low rank matrix is interpreted as an approximation. The original term document matrix is presumed noisy. For example, anecdotal instances of terms are to be eliminated. From this point of view, the approximated matrix is interpreted as a denoisified matrix. The original term document matrix is presumed overly sparse relative to the true term document matrix. That is, the original matrix lists only the words actually in each document, whereas we might be interested in all words related to each document a euro generally a much larger set due to synonymy. The consequence of the rank lowering is that some dimensions are combined and depend on more than one term. Car 1.3452 car plus 0.2828 truck. This mitigates the problem of identifying synonymy, as the rank lowering is expected to merge the dimensions associated with terms that have similar meanings. It also mitigates the problem with polysemy, since components of polysemous words that point in the right direction are added to the components of words that share a similar meaning. Conversely, Components that point in other directions tend to either simply cancel out, or, at worst, to be smaller than components in the directions corresponding to the intended sense. Equals derivation equals, let be a matrix where element describes the occurrence of term in document. Will look like this. Now a row in this matrix will be a vector corresponding to a term, giving its relation to each document. Likewise. A column in this matrix will be a vector corresponding to a document, giving its relation to each term. Now the dot product between two term vectors gives the correlation between the terms over the documents. The matrix product contains all these dot products. Element contains the dot product. Likewise, the matrix contains the dot products between all the document vectors, giving their correlation over the terms. Now, from the theory of linear algebra, there exists a decomposition of such that and are orthogonal matrices and is a diagonal matrix. This is called a singular value decomposition. The matrix products giving us the term and document correlations then become. Since and are diagonal we see that must contain the eigenvectors of, while must be the eigenvectors of. Both products have the same non-zero eigenvalues, given by the non-zero entries of, or equally, by the non-zero entries of. Now the decomposition looks like this. The values are called the singular values, 
and in the left and right singular vectors. Notice the only part of that contributes to is the row. Let this row vector be called. Likewise, the only part of that contributes to is the column. These are not the eigenvectors, but depend on all the eigenvectors. It turns out that when you select the largest singular values, and their corresponding singular vectors from AND, you get the rank approximation to with the smallest error. This approximation has a minimal error. But more importantly we can now treat the term and document vectors as a semantic space. The vector then has entries mapping it to a lower dimensional space dimensions. These new dimensions do not relate to any comprehensible concepts. They are a lower dimensional approximation of the higher dimensional space. Likewise, the vector is an approximation in this lower dimensional space. We write this approximation as You can now do the following, see how related documents and are in the low dimensional space by comparing the vectors and Comparing terms and by comparing the vectors and Documents and term vector representations can be clustered using traditional clustering algorithms like k-means using similarity measures like cosine Given a query, view this as a mini-document, and compare it to your documents in the low-dimensional space. To do the latter, you must first translate your query into the low-dimensional space. It is then intuitive that you must use the same transformation that you use on your documents. Note here that the inverse of the diagonal matrix may be found by inverting each non-zero value within the matrix. This means that if you have a query vector, you must do the translation before you compare it with the document vectors in the low dimensional space. You can do the same for pseudo term vectors. Applications The new low dimensional space typically can be used to compare the documents in the low dimensional space. Find similar documents across languages after analyzing a base set of translated documents. Find relations between terms. Given a query of terms, Translate it into the low dimensional space, and find matching documents. Find the best similarity between small groups of terms, in a semantic way, as for example in multi choice questions MCQ answering model. Synonymy and polysemy are fundamental problems in natural language processing. Synonymy is the phenomenon where different words describe the same idea. Thus, a query in a search engine may fail to retrieve a relevant document that does not contain the words which appeared in the query. For example, a search for doctors may not return a document containing the word physicians, even though the words have the same meaning. Polysemy is the phenomenon where the same word has multiple meanings. So a search may retrieve irrelevant documents containing the desired words in the wrong meaning. For example, a botanist and a computer scientist looking for the word tree probably desire different sets of documents. Equals commercial applications equals, LSA has been used to assist in performing prior art searches for patents. Equals applications in human memory equals, the use of latent semantic analysis has been prevalent in the study of human memory, especially in areas of free recall and memory search. There is a positive correlation between the semantic similarity of two words and the probability that the words would be recalled one after another in free recall tasks using study lists of random common nouns. They also noted that in these situations, the inter-response time between the similar words was much quicker than between dissimilar words. These findings are referred to as the semantic proximity effect. When participants made mistakes in recalling studied items, these mistakes tended to be items that were more semantically related to the desired item and found in a previously studied list. These prior list intrusions, as they have come to be called, seem to compete with items on the current list for recall. Another model, termed word association spaces is also used in memory studies by collecting free association data from a series of experiments and which includes measures of word relatedness for over 72,000 distinct word pairs. Implementation, the SVD is typically computed using large matrix methods but may also be computed incrementally and with greatly reduced resources via a neural network-like approach, which does not require the large, full rank matrix to be held in memory. A fast, incremental, low memory, large matrix SVD algorithm has recently been developed. 
MATLAB and Python implementations of these fast algorithms are available. Unlike Gorel and Webb's stochastic approximation, Brand's algorithm provides an exact solution. In recent years progress has been made to reduce the computational complexity of SVD. For instance, by using a parallel RPAC algorithm to perform parallel eigenvalue decomposition it is possible to speed up the SVD computation cost while providing comparable prediction quality. Limitations Some of LSA's drawbacks include, the resulting dimensions might be difficult to interpret. For instance, in car, a 1.3452 car plus 0.2828 truck. The component could be interpreted as vehicle. However, it is very likely that case is close to car, a 1.3452 car plus 0.2828 bottle will occur. This leads to results which can be justified on the mathematical level, but have no interpretable meaning in natural language. LSA cannot capture polysemy. Each occurrence of a word is treated as having the same meaning due to the word being represented as a single point in space. For example, the occurrence of chair in a document containing the chair of the board, and in a separate document containing the chair maker are considered the same. The behavior results in the vector representation being an average of all the word's different meanings in the corpus, which can make it difficult for comparison. However, the effect is often lessened due to words having a predominant sense throughout a corpus. Limitations of bag of words model, where a text is represented as an unordered collection of words. To address some of the limitation of bag of words model, multigram dictionary can be used to find direct and indirect association as well as higher order co-occurrences among terms. The probabilistic model of LSA does not match observed data. LSA assumes that words and documents form a joint Gaussian model, while a Poisson distribution has been observed. Thus, a newer alternative is probabilistic latent semantic analysis, based on a multinomial model, which is reported to give better results than standard LSA. See also, compound term processing, explicit semantic analysis, latent semantic mapping, latent semantic structure indexing principal components analysis, probabilistic latent semantic analysis, spandexing, topic model, latent diriclet allocation, vectorial semantics, co-metrics. References Thomas Landor, Peter W. Fulls, and Daryl Laham. Introduction to Latent Semantic Analysis. Discourse Processes 25, 259 Euro 284 DOI. 10.1080-01638539809545028. Scott Derrister, Susan T. Dumay, George W. Furness, Thomas K. Landor, Richard Harshman. Indexing by Latent Semantic Analysis. Journal of the American Society for Information Science 41, 391 Euro 407 DOI, 10.1002 slash, SICI. 1097 to 4571, 199,009, 41, 63.0 CO. 2 to 9. Original article where the model was first exposed. Michael Berry, Susan T. Dumay, Gavin W. O'Brien. Using linear algebra for intelligent information retrieval. Illustration of the application of LSA to document retrieval. Latent semantic analysis. Infobis. Friedlin Wild. An open source LSA package fra. CRAN. Retrieved November 20, 2006. Thomas Landor, Susan T. Dumay. A solution to Plato's problem the latent semantic analysis theory of acquisition, induction, and representation of knowledge. Retrieved July 2, 2007. External links. Equals articles on LSA equals, latent semantic analysis, a Scholarpedia article on LSA written by Tom Landor, one of the creators of LSA. Equals talks and demonstrations equals, LSA overview, talk by Professor Thomas Hoffman describing LSA, its applications and information retrieval, and its connections to probabilistic latent semantic analysis. Complete LSA sample code in C for Windows.
The demo code includes enumeration of text files, filtering stop words, stemming, making a document turn matrix and SVD. Equals implementations equals, due to its cross-domain applications in information retrieval, natural language processing, cognitive science and computational linguistics, LSA has been implemented to support many different kinds of applications. Sense clusters, an information retrieval-oriented Perl implementation of LSA, S-Space package, a computational linguistics and cognitive science-oriented Java implementation of LSA, semantic vectors applies random projection, LSA, and reflective random indexing to loosen term document matrices. InfoMap project, an NLP-oriented C implementation of LSA, text-to-matrix generator, a MATLAB toolbox for generating term document matrices from text collections, with support for LSA. Jensen contains a Python implementation of LSA for matrices larger than RAM.